Hello friends, welcome to my channel Botanical Studies. In this video, we will discuss about Gerbera cultivation. The discussion will go through following points. Introduction of Gerbera, floral decorations and floral arrangement with Gerbera, climate and soil, soil sterilization for Gerbera cultivation, Gerbera varieties, propagation, method of Gerbera plantation, weeding, hoeing and irrigation, manures and fertilizers for gerbera plantation, pests of gerbera, diseases of gerbera, harvesting, post-harvest care, packaging and finally marketing of gerbera. Introduction of gerbera. The botanical name of gerbera is gerbera jamesoni and it is commonly known as African daisy. Gerbera is grown throughout the world under wide range of climatic conditions. Gerbera belongs to family Compositi and it is a native to South African and Asian regions. The major Gerbera producing states in India are Maharashtra, Karnataka, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, West Bengal and Himachal Pradesh. Floral decorations and floral arrangements with Gerbera. Gerbera is an exotic ornamental flower plant. Gerbera flowers are mainly used for decorating conference halls, house, palaces, hotels, in parties, functions and in wedding ceremony. It is also used for preparation of floral rangoli and for aquarium decorations. Flowers are also used to prepare bouquets. These are the some attractive gerbera flower bouquets used in various functions because these flowers are long lasting and also remain fresh for longer period. Let us now see the suitable climatic conditions and soil for the gerbera cultivation. Gerbera cultivation can be done under wide range of climatic conditions. In tropical climate, gerbera flowers are grown in open, but in subtropical and temperate climate, to protect from frost, it is cultivated in greenhouse or shade net house because the gerbera is sensitive to frost. In greenhouse condition, it gives better yield as compared to open field. Cultivated in greenhouse or shade net house for the production of quality flowers requires optimum day temperature of 22 to 25 degrees Celsius and night temperature of 12 to 16 degrees Celsius and approximately 400 W per meter square light intensity on the plant level. A well drained rich, light, neutral and slightly acidic soil with pH 6.5 to 8 is most suitable for gerbera cultivation and production. The roots of gerbera go as deep as 50 to 70 cm. Therefore, soil should be highly porous and well drained up to 50 cm to have better root growth and better penetration of roots. Land should be ploughed deep two to three times and brought to a fine tilt. Raised bed of 30 cm height, 1 to 1.2 meter width should be prepared leaving 30 to 50 cm between two beds. Well decomposed farmyard manure, sand and cocoa peat or paddy husk in 2s to 1s to 1 proportion should be added to the beds. Soil sterilization for gerbera cultivation. Before starting gerbera cultivation, disinfection of soil is absolutely necessary to minimize the infestation of soil borne pathogens like Phytophthora, Fusarium, and Pythium, which could otherwise destroy the crop completely. The bed should be drenched or fumigated with 2% formaldehyde or methyl bromide solution and then covered with a plastic sheet for a minimum period of 2-3 to three days. Then bed should be watered thoroughly to drain the chemicals before planting. Gerbera varieties Gerbera flowers are available with different colors that is pink, red, yellow, white, orange and purple. Depending upon the color, these are the some varieties. Terra Queen, Valentine with pink color, Dusty, Fredorella, Vesta, Shania, Red Impulse, Salvador, Tamara with red color, 
हेडकिंग नटजा युरियानस फुलमून डोनी पनामा विथ येलो कलर डेल्फी व्हाइट मारिया विथ व्हाइट कलर कोजैक ऑरेंज क्लासिक विथ ऑरेंज कलर ट्रेजर ब्लैक जैक विथ पर्पल कलर प्रोपोगेशन कमर्शियली जर्बेरा कैन बी प्रोपोगेटेड बाय सीड्स और बाय क्लम्स और बाय माइक्रो प्रोपोगेशन बिफोर जर्बेरा प्लांटिंग सिलेक्टिंग गुड जर्बेरा वराइटी इज इम्पॉर्टंट ऑल्सो कलर कॉम्बिनेशन अफेक्ट जर्बेरा प्रॉफिट फॉर मार्केटिंग फॉर मार्केटिंग पर्पज जर्बेरा ग्रोअर्स हैज अ राइट कलर कॉम्बिनेशन इन द बॉक्स कलर कॉम्बिनेशन इन ग्रीन हाउस में भी रेड ट्वेंटी परसेंट येलो ट्वेंटी परसेंट पिंक ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑरेंज ट्वेंटी परसेंट व्हाइट ट्वेंटी परसेंट इन इंडिया देर इज फाइव टू टेन जर्बेरा प्लांट सप्लायर नर्सरीज आर अवेलेबल एक्सपर्ट जर्बेरा ग्रोअर्स सिलेक्ट ओनली पर्टिक्युलर वरायटी टू फॉर्म ईच नर्सरी फेमस जर्बेरा वरायटीज आर ड्यून प्री इंटेन्स इंटेन्स विंटर क्वीन इन्फेरनो कैचरेले जाफा डेना इलेन संग्रिया डायना इम्पेरियल थालसा सोनसारा बैलेंस पगानिनी एनके नेटे रोजालीन रोसेटा ग्लोरिया एक्सेट्रा मेथड ऑफ जर्बेरा प्लांटेशन ग्रोइंग ऑफ जर्बेरा फ्लावर्स इन रेज रेड इम्प्रूव ड्रेनेज एंड एरिएशन टाइम ऑफ प्लांटिंग प्लांटिंग फॉर जर्बेरा कल्टिवेशन इज डन इन टू सीजन स्प्रिंग सीजन फ्रॉम जानेवारी टू मार्च एंड समर सीजन फ्रॉम जून टू जुलाई एट द टाइम ऑफ प्लांटिंग द क्राउन ऑफ जर्बेरा प्लांट्स शुड बी वन टू टू सेंटीमीटर अबाउ द सॉइल लेवल एज द रूट सिस्टम एस्टैब्लिश द प्लांट्स आर पुल डाउन द स्पेसिंग बिटवीन द रोज शुड बी थर्टी टू फोर्टी सेंटीमीटर एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव टू टू थर्टी सेंटीमीटर विद इन द रो accommodating 8 to 10 plants per meter square weeding hoeing and irrigation in jarbera crop weeding and hoeing is an important operation weeds are a problem up to 3 months after transplantation when plants are in vegetative stage therefore weeding should be done at fortnight interval up to 3 months and at 30 days interval after 3 months immediately after plantation irrigate the plant with overhead irrigation for 4 weeks to enable uniform root development thereafter regularly through drip irrigation system we can water the plant the average requirement is about 500 to 700 ml per day per plant depending upon the season and the stage of the crop manures and fertilizers for jarbera planting Jarbera flowers require plenty of organic matter and ample of nutrients in the form of major and minor nutrients for proper growth and production. Application of 7.5 kg Harmyar manure per meter square gives better results. Application of 10 s to 15 s to 20 g NPK per meter square per month during first 3 months of planting and 15 s to 10 s to 30 npk per meter square per month from fourth month when flowering starts in splits at 15 day interval found to be desirable for good growth and flower production apart from this spraying with micronutrients like boron calcium magnesium and copper at 0.15% once a month is recommended to get better quality blooms let us now see the pests of jerbera white fly white fly feeds on the lower part of the leaves a lot of honey dew secretes which leads to the development of black sooty mold on the leaves control measures spraying of nemark or phospomidon at 0.05% or acephate at 0.05% will give better result leaf miner leaf miner cause white drops on the leaves white spiral tunnels in the leaves due to larvae which remains in the soil control measures spraying of vertimac or monocrotophos at 0.05% red spider mite 
red spider mite suck the juice from the lower side of the leaves which develop brown spot on the lower surface of the leaves resulting in the drying of the leaves in the margin webbing on the flower petals also observed control measures spraying of dicofol at 0.05% or wettable sulfur at 0.5% caterpillars caterpillars create a spherical hole while eating in case of floral attack it cause white spot on petals control measures caterpillars can be controlled by spraying nuven at 0.15 to 0.2% diseases of gerbera root rot due to root rot plants drops younger leaves then dead it is due to pythium control measures soil solarization and sanitation drenching of bavistin 2 g per liter per meter square powdery mildew powdery mildew affects photosynthesis process of the plant on the upper leaf surface a white powder is observed powdery mildew is seen mostly in winter season control measures spraying of carathen or benomyl 0.4 ml per liter alternaria leaf spot if moisture remains on the surface of leaf for long time then black circular spots appears on the leaves control measures avoid overhead watering spraying of dithen m452 of 0.2% at fortnight intervals from the first appearance of the disease botrytis botrytis occurs when the relative humidity of the air is more than 92% in botrytis gray spots seen on the flower control measures sanitization adequate spacing spraying of mancozeb at 0.2% harvesting post harvest care and packaging gerbera starts flowering in about 3 months after planting harvesting is done when outer 2 to 3 rows of the disc florets are perpendicular to the stalk the heel for the stalk should be cut about 2 to 3 cm above the base and kept in a fresh chlorinated water of 1% gerbera flower heads are packed in plastic coated metal or cardboard grids they are also packed in mini polythene shelves they are stored at 2 to 4 degrees celsius marketing of gerbera average yield of cut flowers under open condition is around 130 to 160 flowers per meter square per year of which only 15 to 20% of first grade quality while in shade net condition average yield of cut flower is 240 flowers per meter square per year with 85% of flowers being first grade quality gerbera flower demand is high in marriage season and in festivals mostly in january to may and august to december Hyderabad Mumbai Delhi Ahmedabad Kolkata Pune Bangalore are the major markets for gerbera flowers this is all about gerbera cultivation